the narrator describes his uncle Mr. Thomas and his aunt Mrs. Sarah. The couple look unmatched because Uncle Thomas is abnormally huge and noisy but Aunt Sarah is small and quiet. The little boy who was living with his uncle and aunt heard about the outing for the first time. Mr. Benjamin came with the news that everything was going right according to the plan. He said that he had collected enough money and 20 cases of beer for outing. Sentry was skeptical of Benjamin, so he was following Benjamin Franklin because Benjamin Franklin was the treasurer. Last year, ex-treasurer Bob the Fiddle misused all the money in drinks. So, Will Sentry wanted to stop Benjamin Franklin from misusing the money. It was decided that the new treasurer must show the account clearly. On the next Sunday, Mr. Franklin came to visit Uncle Thomas with the list of members going on the outing. Everyone was satisfied and the plan was approved. When Sarah heard that Mr. Thomas was going on an outing, she did not like it. She gave him option to choose between wife and outing. Uncle Thomas chose outing. He raised Sarah onto the chair and he got punishment from his wife. And Sarah went to her mother's house, leaving instruction in a note like every year. We notice the habits of outing members from the perspective of a little boy. Uncle Thomas took the boy with him because there was no one to look after the boy. They wanted to start at right time for Porth Call because Porth Call was their destination. When they left the home and reached a little further, they found that Old Ozone was missing. They had to go back to take old ozone. After getting old ozone, they set off their outing. But Mr. Weiji, Mr. Weiji remembered that he had forgotten his teeth at his home. He requested the outing members to go back to his home in order to take the teeth, but no one listened to him. After the bus at every pub. They spent whole afternoon drinking alcohol. They reached ice stream at docks. They swam in it. One was ready to go to Porth Call. So they started to return to their home without getting to Porth Call. No pub was open on the way while they were returning to their home. So they gathered in the field and they started drinking the remaining cases of beer. The destination of their outing was Porth Call, but they did not reach Porth Call. It shows that they were unable to realize the value of time. They were careless about the time. It shows that even the grown-up people are also careless and insincere about the time. Most of the grown-up people dictate the children about the right and wrong works, but they themselves do not realize their own fault. Anyway, our story is a humorous story in which Dylan Thomas has presented the nature of grown-up people.